Hello there! In this video, we're going to cover how to integrate GitHub with Jira software and Bitbucket. We'll see how we can automatically update Jira issues by annotating commit messages and branch names with Jira issue IDs. Alright, we're going to install the GitHub integration into this Jira software instance. Our prerequisite to doing that is that you're signed into your GitHub account already and that you've got an organization created. With those things out of the way, we can go to the left navbar, scroll to the bottom and click project settings. And then we can click toolchain. From this dialog, we're going to click add and we're going to click add code repository. Now we can click GitHub and then we can click get it now. Now we can click configure app. And from here we can click connect GitHub organization. Here we can choose GitHub cloud, scroll down a little bit and click continue. Here we can click install GitHub for Jira on a new organization. We're going to pick PMM quick start guide 01. We're going to choose all repositories and click install. Now we're going to click connect. From this screen, we can wait until the in progress meter um, says it's finished and then we can close this screen. Now that the backfill is done, we can close this tab and click back on our toolchain page. And now we can click GitHub again. Here, we can choose from the dropdown any of the repositories we want to add to our Jira software instance. So in this case, let's click Submit Image and click Add Repository. Now that this is done, we can click Back to Project. We can click on the Code tab in the left navbar. And we can see that Submit Image is now available. We can open this in a new tab. That will take us directly to GitHub and our Submit Image repository. All right, now I'm going to demonstrate how we can get deployment information uh, about builds and commits and pull requests from GitHub into Jira software through the integration. So first thing we're going to do is going to click over into the board uh, in the left navbar. We've got a number of issues here. Let's move this issue git minus two to in progress. If we click on this to open it up, we can see over in the development panel that there's no work created against this yet. We're going to switch to GitHub for a second. Uh, I've already cloned this repository down to my desktop, so we're going to go in there and make a quick change and then push it up. So let's take a look at our repository. So we see we're on mainline branch and we have some files in here. The first thing we need to do is check out a new branch. And this branch is going to be named after the Jira issue we want to send this information to. Now we're just going to make a trivial change to the readme file. and save it. We do a git status. We can see that we've made a change in our git minus two branch. Now we're gonna do a git minus, or git add minus minus all and a git commit. In our commit message, we also wanna put the Jira, soft, or Jira issue ID in. This again helps the integration know um, which Jira issue to route these changes to. And finally, we're gonna do a git push minus u origin get to. Now if we jump over to git and we take a look at actions, we've got a git action running to do some work here. All right, now that that pipeline is finished running, we can create a pull request to pull this into mainline. Now if we go back over to Actions, we can see that we're running another deployment. This time it's our production deployment. Alright, now that, that deployment is finished, let's jump back over to Jira and take a look at what we've got. So if we take a look at this issue and we refresh real quickly. We can now see this development panel has some information. So if we click on Branch, we pop up the development panel and we can see the branch that was merged. 
We can click on commits and we can see the commits that were made. We can click on pull requests and see the pull requests. Click on builds and we can see the builds that were done. All right. Thank you for watching this video about integrating GitHub with Jira software and Bitbucket. You can find more videos like this on the Developer's Edge video series on the Atlassian YouTube channel.